This week, thousands of years ago, maybe not exactly this week, even though the date falls out, but we are really still in the first month of our, first month of Adar. So perhaps it's in the next month of Adar. We're told that from the twenty third of Adar until the first of Nisan, during the time the Bnei Israel were in the desert, right before the Mishkan was inaugurated on the first of Nisan, Moshe Rabbeinu was very busy. Because during that week, Moshe Rabbeinu took apart the Mishkan and rebuilt it seven times. And the reason, as the Ramban explains to us, is very practical. Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to teach the Levim that as the B'day Yisrael were going to travel through the Midbar, of course they had to do something with the Mishkan in order to transport it. They didn't have a flatbed truck to put the Mishkan on. So Moshe Rabbeinu was trying to teach the Levim, this is what you do, this is how you take it apart. And then when you get to an encampment, this is how you put it back together so that the Bnei Yisrael could worship HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Mishkan. The Beis Yisrael wonders, based on what he heard from his father, the Imre Emes, that maybe Moshe Rabbeinu had another message for Kalal Yisrael. And that was before the Hakamas HaMishkan, before the Mishkan was established, before the Mishkan was erected, the message for the Jewish people was that if the Mishkan for some reason ends up falling down, don't lose hope. Why? So he quotes the Pasuk in Mishle that says, Ki sheva yipol tzadik vikam. That seven times a tzaddik may fall down, but a tzaddik will get back up, even the seventh time. And so, he says that Moshe Rabbeinu was telling Klal Yisrael, telling the Jewish people that if in the future their Mishkan, whether it was the physical Mishkan in the Midbar or later on the Bate Mikdash, if they were to fall, the people should believe that it'll get back up. And so too, there is a deeper individual message that can be applied to our lives as well. Just a few weeks ago, we said, we also li mikdash b'shachanti b'socham. Hashem told us when in, instructing us about building the Mishkan, Hashem says, if you build that Mishkan, then I will dwell within you. And we said, b'socham means Hashem wants to dwell in each of us. And so, Perhaps the message that we're being told by Moshe Rabbeinu is that in our own personal lives, when it comes to a moment that we fall down, that we should have the faith, the bitachon, that just like the Mishkan, if it falls down, will get back up, so too, if we go through a difficult time, we too should garner the strength to get back up because better times will come. How many times do we find ourselves in a place where something happens that's negative, that makes us sad, that gets us down, and we try to get up, but then something else happens, or we just can't pick ourselves up? And that's where we rely on the Pasuk of Mishle and say, it may take seven times, but we can get up. We can get past this. We can garner strength. We can stand once again. May we be Zochem, may we merit to learn and apply this lesson of the Mishkan, the Shiva Simei the seven practice days that Moshe Rabbeinu took apart the Mishkan and put it back together, apply it to our own lives in recognizing that even at moments when we may seem like we are falling apart, we have the ability to erect ourselves once again and stand tall, eventually being able to straighten our back and move forward in life. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.